Were you studying up there? Yeah, studying up. Well, I mean, you should be you should be the one reading it by uh -huh. all means. You need to get your homework done. Yeah. All right, YouTube. Tonight, we're trying to fix our problem from our track from our uh, what do we want to call that? It wasn't quite practice. We'll call it. <laughs> Uh, a few laps to test our engine and we Checking developed bugs. Yeah, we developed the problem. So we got primary ignition components today new cap button New blaster coil new magnetic pickup for the MSD new coil wire New switch for the MSD box. That's gonna be tonight's project. Hopefully if we get this put up. We'll uh, Start the car up push it outside. Maybe we'll see how we go time will tell so stick around we're gonna get to work Uh, it's a nice day out. Got the garage door open. You'll probably hear some traffic, but it does feel wonderful. He wants to see the nasty. I don't know if that's too much or what. We did check the gap uh, prior to this, and it is not over. So the paper says between 18 and 30 thousandths, I believe. Mm -hmm. Something like that. I just think we need to clean it all up here. Having the rust isn't really that big of a deal because it runs off magnets. So it's just because it's rusted, it's still an iron surface to go through the magnetic field. But it's pretty rusted, it's pretty old. So we're gonna take it out, replace it, get our uh, gap set right, cut through there, see if she pops off. Looks like we're gonna need a 38 wrench or something. Some sort of Allen socket to slide underneath, try to do this without pulling the distributor out and see if we can do it. No YouTube videos on this, I checked. <laughs> something that was you know readily available. I guess we're gonna be the first ones. I'm not scared. Bring it on. I've never done it before, but yeah, we've not done it, but we'll try it. Let's see if I can't get a you might be like Mikey. You might like it. <laughs> you can't you can't see it. I don't know. We need to dangle this thing from the ceiling. We gotta get it rolling, there we go. We gotta get these nasty rusty things out. I don't wanna spray lube down in here. I'm sure it won't hurt anything, but gotta get those out. Gotta sneak this guy in underneath here. Sort of feels like that might be it. We're just sitting here doing this. We're not in time lapse. We're just lip recording live here. I wonder if we should be doing this in time lapse. Probably. That one is stuck in there, buddy. You got Hot Rod Harry across the street over there. I hear him. All right, can you not drop the screw this time, please? That would be great. Oh, look at that. Well, it must be our bike yeah. night. Oh, Friday night bike you know night. What? Yep, that uh, new uh, place down the road there, Sick Fish, I think. She goes slip her right out like that. I mean, that doesn't look healthy. Take note where they put silicone here. This is probably like window silicone. The reason why that was pigtails is they've probably replaced this before at some point in time. It looks like they, there's two different types. See this and this? Mm -hmm. They could have stole this out of one. You know, this could have been out of a spare distributor or something. Right. Either way, we don't like that. Get that out. Is that staying there? I'm not for sure how that comes out of there. Looks like. Here, hold, hold it fast. Now pull down on it. It's, there it goes. Boom, shakalaka. That's Sweet. the vent. 
I will assume that well the wire went through that it's all inclusive mm -hmm. now we gotta get a wire brush and clean it all up and then we'll blow everything out of there get it all clean and dry and all right well we'll put you guys on time lapse while we do that Out with the old, here's old nasty. Uh, nice, looks like some window silicone they used to put in there. We're gonna reinstall ours with some ultra black gasket maker. A couple things when you put these on. Uh, these, my advice is not, um, no disclaimer needed, just reading straight off the instructions for those of you who don't wanna read them. Let's go over the highlights, just the high points here. Uh, can you see this okay? I believe so. I believe so. All right, got to make sure the orange stripe faces towards the reluctor wheel and that the black stripe faces towards the uh, magnetic pickup there. That's going to be the key part. And I've already got ours pretty set up that way. So there's the orange stripe. It's going to face towards that way. There's the black. That faces towards there. We're going to put us a bead of silicone. It's basically going to follow what they did. Right. They just put some down there across the back. So that's what we're going to do. Missed it. Whatever. That's perfect. No, I'm talking about the shot. <laughs> well, I'm talking about my alignment. Yeah, no, you did great. Fantastic. Everything you do is perfect. Well, you know. Well, we'll get on here. We won't go Except there. Except when we go to the track, then nothing's perfect. You can't, all that, and you can't clean these nuts up a little bit? No, because we got brand new ones. Oh, sweet. Now, the directions say the gap needs to be 18 to 30 thousandths. So we're going to shoot for about 20 thousandths here. And we'll tighten down once we're about ready. All right. Well, you need to switch spots? Yeah, I think I might need to switch the spots. Why don't you put him back on time lapse? We're going to go back on time lapse. MSD gave us a sweet gauge to check the tangs. Show them the new one. So here's the new one. You gotta find all your all your stuff here. Getting close. But you just set the guy on here like this. And you guys may or may not be able to see the maximum in there, but it's right in par where it needs to be. Yep, now show them the let's do the old one. Yep, the old one here. The old we're way below the line below the line so that's another thing we found yep. not meeting expectation we're about to fix that look at your hard at work mm -hmm. Got found this the old done. eight millimeter the old blaster coil put it in here all right youtube give you guys a quick update got motorcycle get ready to come by here story of our lives it's nice outside we got all the uh, primary ignition stuff replaced minus the MSD box. So uh, we started the car up, ran it outside. We've got our new coil, new coil wire, button cap, magnetic pickup, 
Check the timing. Seems like we're really close. Seems like it ran a lot better, but I'm I'm not uh, I'm not as happy. What do you think, Drew? Are you as happy? Uh, I mean, I think it's it sounds better, but I mean, you got it up to five grand or whatever, and you said you heard backfire, but I don't yeah. know. It was still putting just just a smidgen, and it's not under load, so we're not for sure. Oh, there goes Amazon, and uh, <laughs> sorry about the background noise, but. Uh, I, I'm still not thoroughly convinced that it's 100% and we're just going to have to keep working the problem. So now we're going to pull these valve covers off real quick and take the saggy outer wares off and get that side off. We're going to check, looks, make sure our valve springs everything look good. I think we're about time to give you guys some closure for the night. We're getting tired. We pulled the valve covers. We did that on our time lapse. Did a visual inspect of the old uh, valve springs, rocker arms, push rods, just to make sure we didn't have anything mechanical going on. And we certainly uh, didn't see anything. Everything looked really good. So I don't know, uh, don't see any immediate mechanical failures or anything to worry about. I guess maybe we've got it licked. We're gonna take it to the track and find out. I think the last and only thing we might want to go ahead and do is just go ahead and replace the rest of the secondary ignition system, which would include your spark plugs and the other plug wires, and maybe we'll look into doing that. That's something that we uh, probably need to do anyways. It's that time of year, so uh, we're probably going to get on that. And we got T minus seven and a half days to race day, something like that. And uh, we're going to make the best of it. And we've still got some more setup work we want to dial in on. And we really want to make sure we've got this uh, engine performance issue squared away. So thanks for hanging with us this week. Uh, we're going to get another shot of video probably in the garage before we get back to the track. Uh, we're going to be at Richmond Raceway uh, July 10th and July 17th. We're running with the Pro Late models there. So we're super excited about getting back to our new favorite track this year. And, getting ready for uh, the season big big races coming up at the end of the season so thanks for sticking with us make sure you like subscribe comment below we'll check you next time